I'll be showing pro CS2 tips and tricks from official matches that I watch hours of demos in order to collect all these clips so you can see what the pros are doing. If you support the hard work I put in these videos, I'd greatly appreciate it if you give the video a like, comment, and subscribe. After Molotov in mid, you can throw this self pop flash and it's going to punish any T's that decide to push through your Molotov. The CTs are doing a bait and switch setup inside apartments. You can see this CT is baiting, gets the attention, and then the other CT is going to pop up from boiler. Let me show you a really cool setup from TSM. Moto makes first contact with the op, then there's going to be a flash thrown from pit. Jax is going to swing mid off the flash. You can see this flash does work out and it helps blind the T up close. However, there was a T that was going to entry towards long that had his back turned. Before I show you more tricks, I have to tell you about my website cs2.app which is my project that includes the biggest nade database featuring over 1000 nades, there's over 200 pro POVs that you can easily watch demos, there's also over 50 pro strategies, and lastly a team finder so if you're looking for a team or players. The best part about my website is that it's free to use, cs2.app, try it out today. If the T smoke you off jungle, one play you can make is to jump so you can see over the smoke towards palace and you can spot the T that is on balcony. This is a good off angle for two reasons. One, the T coming around this corner is not going to inspect you this close. And two, as the T's run to throw this Molotov, they're not going to have their weapon out, which gives you the chance to jump on them. Falling inside the ramp doorway towards the left shows two easy nades. This first one, you just aim at the satellite for the jungle smoke. And then for the stairs Molotov, you just aim right there, then left click throw. New window smoke lineup, jump on top of the trash can, aim here at the rail where it meets the wall, then you're going to run forward and jump throughout. Do not use your run throw bind, it won't work, you have to manually do it, leaves no gaps on the right and left sides. Let me show you Exertion's favorite nade set that he throws from short on the CT side Mirage. First is a bottom con smoke, then he's going to Molotov below window and throw a flash over top mid. This smoke will slow down the T's mid control, but look at the cover of this Molotov. Rob's plays on top of this red barrel inside connector, but after the Molotov ends, look how he's moving left and right, and this movement right here is going to prevent the pre-aim and pre-fire from Jimmy in that right corner. The T's throw their short Molotov very late, you're going to see the CT do this movement play to get on top of the sandbag, so hold this insane off angle so the T's coming around the corner inside water is not going to expect it. If you want to trick the T's, go ahead and mess up your monster smoke as shown here. This is deliberately misthrown and you're going to see that your opper is going to peak monster. So the T's might not expect this play. They think it's a missed smoke and you're going to see your opper is going to get a free peak. The triple boost over towards the ABC graffiti area was very common in CSGO and did get a buff in CS2. As you can see, the leaves there do give you cover. So yeah, you can see that it's possible in CS2 this boost and this is the first time that I've seen this boost used in a pro match in CS2. Did you know you could wall bang mid house from all the way in T spawn at the start of the round? Go ahead and use this boost, stand up, you're going to scope in with the op like this, then go ahead and shoot at 150. What the fuck? You can see the crazy reaction from the T's and this is from the CT's POV. I can definitely see this wall being being meta and used by the pros in the near future. Tessis is going to throw the mid pressure smoke from spawn 3. You're just going to aim above this part of leaf then go ahead and forward jump throw, W jump throw. If the CTs don't push up the clear close elbow, you can see that this smoke is full cover and a lot of pressure and presence. We know that mid can be supported with flashes from B, CT, and even A, but have you seen flashes from mid to B to support? Here is one way that Godsend takes Cheetah cave control using this front Cheetah smoke. Then you're going to see Golden pushes up, Molotov's the right side. Then he's going to break open the smoke and while this is happening, his teammate is going to throw this flash. If there was a CT here, the Molotov forces them into this flash. If the T's throw that B side smoke, it's going to give you the potential to hold this insane off angle for cave. When the T's are entering out of this position, you can see that they're focused on back sight, temple, and anyone holding from this tight right corner of platform. Definitely give this angle a try. B pressure smoke from B stick with this new lineup, stand at the end of the wall, aim as shown, then go ahead and jump throw. This is faster than the other way which requires a set position. Maka might just have the best B flashes for his teammates to push out B main at the start of the round. You can see the third flash he picks up, he uses the second lineup. What's nice is that these flashes won't blind your teammates as they entry out of B main and you're going to see this T gets chain flash from the three flashes. Don't be a noob, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on insane flashes like this one and all the tips and tricks and nades and I'll see you guys in the next one.